I'm Yusuf Estevez, and uh, I play the character of Carlos in this project. Um, a guy who comes from a very uh, rich and influential family, and you know, without being prevented by that, um, you know, he runs all the drugs that goes around the small town of San Antonio, and that's where he gains his um, sense of power over people, you know, despite of, like I said, coming from a very rich and famous family. Yusuf, before Marlo, yeah. I'm going to show you the hat. Oh yeah, sure. I'm going gorgeous look. Go, Manu. Hello guys, um, Manu Raspal here. I play the town's, it's a small town, so I play the town's uh, clown, if I may call it. So um, I'm always there, I see everything, I know everything, the details and who and why, and uh, I won't say anything more, but watch it, it's crazy good. <laughs> Before we go to Roxanne, can Miguel Vasquez Muna, Miguel? Yes, uh, good uh, afternoon, everyone. Um, I play the role of um, FBI agent uh, Miguel Cortez, and um, his character is um, it's sort of an uh, antagonistic character in, in the, uh, the film, though. Uh, I don't want to give away too much, but it is a murder mystery, and all the characters are are definitely uh, <laughs> considered the usual suspects in the entire thing. You know, but but uh, yes, my character has a bit of a twist, which is kind of nice. Miss my name is Elaine Dosano. I'm the line producer of the movie, and I'm also playing a role in the movie. It's a short role. I win. I play the madrasta of T Boy in the movie. So, uh, I'm going to be a Hi guys, I play um, myself. <laughs> no, I play Julian in the movie, and uh, I won't say anymore. What's up? Magandaya. Thanks, Julian. Apollo. Uh, hi, I'm Ali, and uh, I play the role of the forensic doctor who was part of the investigation of this movie. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Now we go to the beautiful Roxanne Marcella. So what it Mabuhay. Ako po si Maria dito sa Way of the Cross at ang role ko po dito ay nagbo-volunteer ako sa simbahan. Mariwasa, mabait, um, walang kasing linis ang aking buthi dito sa pelikulang ito. I thank you. And the piece of seeing it all, Alvin Anson. Hello, good afternoon. First and foremost, thank you very much for coming and supporting our film. Uh, like Ms. Elaine said, palapakan natin kaila. Let's give a good And before I tell you about my character, I'd like to thank three people. Ms. Lani, Anthony, and Anthony Sr. Pablak pa ako na sila. Without them, this movie will not be possible. Of course, we're a team here. And uh, guys in studio, I in the sky, pictures, um, thank you. And my character here, I play uh, a priest. Uh, of course, you guys are shocked that I'm playing a priest. <laughs> my first time playing a priest. So, like Miguel said, we are all usual suspect. Um, sure, killing happening in a small town. And uh, the rest, you have to watch the movie. Thank you very much. God bless. Bye bye. And our major character, the FBI agent. Mr. Anthony the DS T boy. Hi everybody, my name is T boy, and I play the role of Rogue Rogelio, who's a top FBI agent in the states, who actually has to go and marry his estranged father, who's a top MBI agent in the Philippines. And through there, he actually gets caught up in a lot of the murder mysteries that happen. His FBI instincts kick in, to where he feels like he has to help solve the case, but his jurisdiction is not in the Philippines, so 
I get tangled up in that and I meet a lot of colorful characters along the way and I won't say more than that, but thank you guys for coming, appreciate it. So before we ask the members of the press to, uh, to, to inquire about the, about the film, I'm curious, why is everyone in a small town speaking English? <laughs> it's a small town and everyone is speaking in English. I'm just curious about that, Father. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, they were all sponsored by the mayor to go to England. <laughs> Uh, the mayor of Paulo Gamboa is sick, so he's not here right now. Uh, you know, if you watch a lot of movies, there are Mexican movies, uh, Russian movies, all kinds of foreign movies that they're speaking English, and we know they're Russian, they're Germans, you know, so I think it's high time that we should speak English because audiences now abroad, they don't want to read subtitles, right? And they don't want to hear people speak speaking, you know, when you dub it, because it sounds like a, you know, old movie. And when they watch it, it's not as if like, it's not as if like, you know, you're watching a, a Tagalog movie na trying hard with English yung mga tao. So I think it looks, it, and it, yeah, it feels like a legit, a legit international movie. I believe so. Okay. Sir Tony. This guy has more experience. <laughs> Most importantly is, we wanted to make sure that this movie was an international top style movie. So we wanted to make sure that, because English is the, is the most uh, spoken language around the world. So that way we can resonate for all the audiences. And number two is Americans don't like to read subtitles. And, Amer and this is really an American movie set in the Philippines. And so the Philippines is the backdrop, but it is an American movie with an international uh, flavor and storytelling. Okay, who'd like to shoot the first question? Please raise your hands and don't be shy, people. Or else I'll call you, I'll call your names. Uh, also, this is not a good presentation anyway. They can ask it in Tagalog. We have a lot of translators, so don't be shy. Kasi tagal yung naghintay, di ba? Baka mamaya, ang dami yung gusto kita daw. Who'd like to shoot the first question, please? FPJ, go. Hi, uh, I'm from Amanda Play. My first question is, um, the story of the, the movie is actually talking about serial killers and it's kind of rare for, uh, it's a kind of rare story because we don't have, really don't have serial killers in the Philippines. So uh, why was that the, the topic of the movie or why, why the, you talked about a serial killer as, a, as, as the main uh, backdrop of the movie? That's what you think. <laughs> well, the serial killer is not a, a typical serial killer in the sense of, of what you guys are used to. This serial killer doesn't want to be a serial killer. It just evolves. It just evolves that way. So I can't tell you anything. Yeah. If I tell you anything else, I'm gonna have to kill you. It's, it's gonna give away the whole movie. Yeah, so it's not really a serial killer in the sense of how you guys are all, we are all used to seeing serial killers. Okay, and also, uh, what percentage is the, the filming? Was it all 99% in the Philippines and just uh, just a fraction in the US? Yeah, it was probably 97% in the Philippines, 3% in America, maybe 98.5% in the Philippines. But uh, even though everybody's speaking English, there's still some Filipino dialogue in the movie. Just in the background. Yeah. Just in the background. Thank you. Our next question, please. Please raise your hand, so don't be shy. Jerry Donato, ito <laughs> muna, from the Philippine Star. <laughs> Uh-oh, go. Sorry. Um, I would just like um, to know what specific, if you may, what specific social and cultural and political themes that the movie will be exploring? Zero. Zero. Okay. It doesn't, we don't exploit any political or religious themes at all. It's just, the religion is just the backdrop. Philippines is just the backdrop. 
This is a really character-driven story, and there's motivation for each character to drive the movie forward. And these are just uh, props in the whole play. So you're, you're basically exploring the universe of the films, not, yes. not the themes that are specific to the each of the particular films. Absolutely correct. Correct. We want to make sure that's clear. <laughs> if this movie is not going to be offensive at all, when you guys at the, at the end of the movie, we hope we want you guys to walk away from the movie with a sense of hope. Okay. Our next question, please. Sino pong gusto magtanong? Is there a question from the bloggers? Aside from the first person who asked the question, go. Sino dyan? Additional question for the for the uh, characters. I say um, most of you. Um, it's kind of it's a different feel from the previous movies that you made, like Roxanne. I say you know, for this one you are very very. Uh, virginal. <laughs> virginal. Yeah. Uh. Virginal. Because I was born in Virginia. Para manina. <laughs> um, as Maria, uh, ang last movie na lumabas na I was part of was actually Abay Babes. Ibang iba talaga. Kung sino ang mga naka-download at nakanood sa theater ng Abay Babes, uh, malayong malayo po. Sa totoo lang po, binuo talaga namin yung, of course, with a, with a clear direction from T-Boy, um, Anthony Sr., and of course, um, the whole production. They really made sure that each of our characters were communicated properly. So, kumbaga para ako, but there was also a lot of room to create and collaborate. Parang napakalayo po talaga sa lahat ng nagawa ko na role ito kasi ba it, um, Yung mariwasa, mali palang word yun, kasi tiles pala yung mariwasa. <laughs> no, kidding aside. It's, ano, she's, she's a very helpful person. Ang heart niya, pure talaga. She just um, loves, loves uh, her friends. She loves the church. Sobra siyang devoted sa church. Um, yung kumbaga, muntik na siyang magmadre. Ganun yung role ko. And, um, Maiksi pa yung hair ko. So medyo nababaliw ako nung time na to kasi jumping from super bait. Tapos panahon ni Natalie sa Wildflower. And then I was also doing I Found My Heart in Santa Fe. Iba-iba yung, yung mga sinishoot ko at that time. So um, it was such a challenge to, to be part of different shows, of different movies. But at the same time, um, na-survive naman, in fairness, hindi pa naman ko ako baliw. <laughs> Kinaya naman ko. Yeah. Questions, please? Uh, for T-Boy, how did you choose these actors? Did they audition for you? And then, paano mo na-assign yung mga roles sa kanila? Yes, we actually helped.